In this lesson, we'll be introducing radian measurement instead of just degrees for dealing with parts of a circle. So we already know that a complete circle all the way around is 360 degrees. But I have to stop and define what is a, what is a radius. Well, radius is the distance from the center to the outside. Now, if I took that radius and I peeled it off of here and laid it on the outside of my circle, I could get it around half the circle in 3.14 times, which means I could get it all the way around in 6.28 times. Now, if math was perfect in, in the way nature uh, uh, has it, the, this somehow would be an even number that it would lay out around, but it's not. It's, in fact, it's not just an, uh, a not an even number, it's an irrational number. So it's not easily defined. So if I took this, and the Greeks struggled with this for years, being able to lay this out, and they wanted to find a different way to do this, but really if I come from the center of the circle to the outside, and I lay it on the outside each time, it ends up being taking all the way around 6.28 times. So halfway around is 3.14. And the Greeks went ahead and labeled that as pi. Now some of the formulas we've already used, for instance, uh, 2 pi r, circumference of a circle, is dealing with the fact that it's relating to the ratio of what is the radius in relationship to the circumference. Well, it's 2 pi radiuses to go all the way around. Now, many times in math, it's better for us to go ahead and use radians, but in this lesson, we're just introducing what a radian is and how to work with it with the special triangles we've already worked with. So when we look at this, uh, this uh, circle, I remember that 180 degrees is pi radians, or 360 degrees is 2 pi radians. Look at example 39.1, and it says let's add 4 sine pi over 4 plus sine of negative pi over 3. Notice that it does not have to say pi radians. And this is a change from us with labeling. Usually we're really, really careful with the labeling. We say, uh, there's our degree mark, and that's, that's the units. Well, when there is no units listed, and we're talking about an angle, or we're talking about a uh, circumference in this case, we're not dealing with a unit uh, that is, needs to be labeled. It's already assumed to be, and accepted to be, radians. Now, uh, looking at this problem, 4 sine pi over 4. Now, we have this ratio here that we can say uh, 180 equals pi radians. So I can say 180 divided by pi radians equals pi radians divided by 180. These two uh, equations being, or amounts being equal, mean if I divide by them, I get a value of 1. This is basically saying 1 equals 1. Well, that's easy. If I can take this and say pi over 4, how can I relate that into degrees? Because I already know my special triangles with degrees. So pi over 4. So I say pi over 4 times 180 over pi. And I chose to use the 180 over pi instead of the pi over 180 because I want my pi's to cancel. Now technically speaking, once again, it's pi radians, but I don't have to use the radian nomenclature. It's just not important. So if I do pi over pi, I end up with 180 over 4. 180 over 4 is 45 degrees. Well, that one's not, not a problem. So we'll jump over to this one with pi over 3. Notice that the problem has a negative in here. We'll come back to that in a minute, but just be careful with it. I'm going to use the same conversion factor with negative pi over 3 times 180 over pi, and I cancel my pi's, leaving me with negative 180 over 3. Well, that reduces to negative 60. Now, this problem now looks like this because I'm substituting in 45 and negative 60 for each of my pi over 4 and negative pi over 3, and I get this equation right here. This one is one that we've already dealt with in this, in this uh, uh, course, so this shouldn't be a surprise to us. I went ahead and put our special triangles up here. We should have those memorized at, at this point, a uh, 1, 1, root 2, and a uh, 1, 2, root 3. Uh, if you need to review back to that lesson, that's the special triangles lesson. We deal with these quite a bit. Now, 4 sine of 45, so I went ahead and drew that in the first quadrant, sine of 45, that's a 1, 1, root 2. Well, what is the sine function? Well, the sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so I say the opposite over the hypotenuse, 1 over root 2. 
Now this is where the, I, I did a little differently in the book. The book didn't simplify this step if you're following along. What I, what I did is I multiplied the top and the bottom by the root of two over the root of two because I immediately knew I don't want to leave a root two in the denominator. And that gave me root two over two is equal to the sine of 45. So I know it's going to be four sine 45 plus sine of negative 60. Well, negative 60, I start my standard and I go down 60 degrees. That puts me in the fourth quadrant. I'm looking at a 30, 60, 90 triangle, 60 degrees. And I'm going to use the sine. Once again, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. And I end up with negative root 3 over 2. Now, if you're following closely, you'll notice that even though I drew my special triangle, the opposite, which is my y-axis direction, it happens to be a root 3, but it's going down. We're making it a negative root 3. And I remember that the sign is negative in the fourth quadrant. If you remember your little shortcut, all students take calculus. Mm -hmm. The cosine is the only positive trig function in the fourth quadrant. So I want to go ahead and put that in as negative root 3 over 2, opposite mm -hmm. hypotenuse. Once I have this, I can then substitute these two values back in. This one for the sine of 60, and this one for the sine of 45. That's going to give me 4 times the root of 2 over 2, plus a negative root 3 over 2. When I multiply 4 times root 2, I get 4 root 2 over 2. And when I do a positive and a negative, I'm ending up with a negative value. Normally, I'd have to find a common denominator here, but luckily the, the uh, book gave us an easy enough problem that the common denominator is already there. So rather than cancel this, and I know that's a, that's a, a concern right off the bat, that many, everybody, everybody wants to cancel when they can. And normally I would, but I needed a common denominator. If I cancel here, I end up having to add that 4 back in anyway to get my common denominator of 2. And then I, I can't do anything with these except put them over a common denominator because they are unlike roots. So 4 root 2 minus root 3 over 2. And we've simplified 39.1.